Hi everyone. Welcome to Loan IT with Venkat. This is Dr. Venkatesan. Today's video we are going to see about what are all the basic configurations we have to do with the router and switch device. When you go for a new device purchase, if you buy a router or if you buy a switch, what are the basic configuration you have to do it in that devices. Here I am going to use Cisco Packet Tracer tool to demonstrate that these commands you can also use it in the real devices also. And uh, here I have given some of the basic uh, details which we want to give that steps under here I have given basic configurations such as host name we have to set and we have to set the banner and we have to set the enable password and we have to disable the IP domain lookup and we have to set the login using console and VTY okay and uh, before we go into the devices configuration we have to know what are all the basic uh, modes which is uh, available in your router and switches so there are three uh, basic operation modes both in router and switch so first mode we call it as user executable mode and uh, privilege execution mode and third mode we call it as global configuration mode from this global configuration mode you move into specific configuration modes like interface configuration vlan configuration and line configurations okay there are so many but here i have listed only few so basically there are three modes user privilege and global configuration we will see one by one and these are all the basic steps you have to do it so i am going to the topology now here i have taken one router and one switch for demonstration and one pc and if you go for the real device you need a pc that has to be connected with these devices to configure the basic thing okay router uh, connect going to connect with the pc so here you have a console cable click router and here you have a port called console port click the console port and here ps pc rs232 okay the, which is the serial communication protocol you used to have a communication between your computer and the peripheral devices like router switches and all okay so through that i have connected and if you go to the pc desktop there is a terminal so once you go into the terminal and if you click okay then here you could see it is connected with your router okay so i'm just moving this router. so it is asking me whether you have to do the initial configuration no so what is the first step you have to set the host name so first this is a user mode when router is followed by the greater than symbol this is what we call it as a user mode from user mode you have to move on to the next mode we call it as privilege mode so enable is the command and uh, router followed by has symbol which is the privilege mode so from here you have to go to the configure terminal mode which is a global configuration mode parenthesis config followed by hash symbol okay here i have to set the host name so host name for example i am going to give gateway this router is going to act as a gateway so my host name of this router is going to be gateway so now you could see the router host name changed okay from router to gateway name okay and second the banner of it so we have to set the banner so we have a command called banner and motd message of the day okay followed by hash symbol and you have to type your message of the day banner information in between this hash symbol okay so here i am just typing unauthorized access to the device is prohibited okay and ending with hash symbol enter and now you could check it end and exit see once you get into the router you will get a banner here okay unauthorized access to this device is prohibited okay and enable configure terminal now you have to set the enable password for security purpose so here enable is the command used to do move to the privilege mode okay so once you get into the privilege mode you could do some kind of so running configurations so startup configurations and so many things you can verify here so to provide some security to that level you have to set the password for enable so enable space if you give question mark there are two ways of assigning password one by using the keyword called password and another by using the keyword called secret but if you use password means your password will be visible transparent one so anybody 
can easily read your password so for security purpose here i am giving secret what is the use of secret means if you use this keyword your password will be encrypted so which will become in a format called uh, unreadable format so nobody can read it easily and which is not transparent one so enable secret i am making this as cisco okay and uh, next step i have to disable the ip domain lookup because every time if you type some command it has to uh, unnecessarily looking for the dns so i have to stop that dns lookup so i have to give no ip space domain even lookup okay okay and the last step we have to set the password for line console and vty for example if you see uh, one more thing you can also add here so clack if you give so the clack which is uh, by default in your router is see the date 1993 march 1 this is by default your router will have so if you want to change this clack you can do clack set and if you give question mark you will get a hint so clack set followed by hours minutes and uh, seconds so here i am giving for example uh, 10 and uh, 50 minutes and 25 seconds and followed by if you give question mark you have to give the date let it be 18 and if you give question mark you have to give the month let it be august and if you give question mark you have to choose the year so now 2020 and give enter now give the command called so clock okay now your date updated okay and you could see by using so running configuration so now if you give running configuration you could see you, the gateway is your host name and you have enabled secret password and you can look at here the password is not visible here so very uh, very secure way you have done it and here you have given no ip domain lookup okay and uh, followed by that see here message of the day you have given this message banner you have set and not yet you have configured for console and vty okay so suppose if you are giving so startup configuration if you give like this you could see startup configuration is not present because as of now what you have configured is in the running configuration okay if you switch off this router then all your configuration will go off okay it will be erased okay because it is not in your startup configuration which is in your volatile memory so it will go go out of your configuration mode okay so what we have to do we have to copy it so copy running configuration to the startup configuration so what will happen whatever is in your running configuration that will be copied to your startup configuration so give enter it will ask you a confirmation give enter again okay you can give this copy command or you can give a simple command called write both are doing the same thing now so startup configuration now you can see once you have given startup configuration now you you can see all the configuration whatever you have done it okay now go to configure terminal now i am going to do the console login and a vty login console is for local login because when you see here exit exit if anyone just connected the router with console cable that fellow can easily go into your router so if i want to provide security to the entry of your router or switch i have to enable the console password here okay so how i can do it so enable cisco is my enable password configure terminal so line console and if you give zero so console is the interface or a communication maximum you can choose only one line okay so enter i am going to set the password for this access let it be ccna okay and then you have to give login fine now i am going to check it so end wr to save it and exit so once you go into your router now you could see it is asking you the password to go into your router so ccna is my password once you have given that password it will allow you to the user mode and enable and it will ask the enable password so cisco like this you you can set the different different security now added to that i wish to tell you one more thing suppose if you want to access this router by not only using the password by also username and password so how i can do it here ccna enable cisco 
so configure terminal so what here i have to do here i am going to create a local access with the username and password so username let it be venkat and password let it be venkat and uh, line console i am going to assign this username and password to this line console so how i can access it suppose without assigning it if i am accessing this router see it is asking only password which means console password which you have assigned c c n a okay not it is asking the password of my user account venkat venkat okay because it is not asking so i have to assign this username password to this line console so how i can assign it so enable cisco configure terminal so line console 0 here how i can access it so here i have to give login assigned with local if i have given login local then this local username password which you have assigned it venkat venkat this is a local access of your router with the username and password so once you have given control for your console with login local then your router or switch will access through your username password okay end wr to save it and exit now now if you give enter now it is asking me a password hope you understand the difference okay so now i am giving my username venkat and venkat as my password okay now it is accessing with console local login okay so this is about the basic configuration of your router now i will tell you how to do the same thing in switch okay now i will disconnect this console cable and connect with your switch okay rs232 console cable and go to your pc same like terminal and go here now it will be connected with your switch okay now it is connected with your switch same job here user mode enable configure terminal privilege and configuration mode here also you can set host name let it be has hyphen 1 for switch 1 and all the configuration whatever you have done it in router same configuration here you have to do it no ip domain lookup and uh, line console 0 let it be password ccna and here i am giving it as only for login and uh, exit and enable password and here secret and giving it a cisco and do wr to force and uh, copy your running to startup configuration so okay and wr to copy it okay fine and uh, exit so here you have given ccna okay enable cisco password so all the basic configuration whatever we have done it in the router same thing here in router and also in switches okay hope you all understand this and for vtv configurations through ssh and telnet i have given separate video detailed video on it how to do it in router and switch in my channel you could refer that also the link is given in the description thanks for watching subscribe this channel and share with your friends bye bye